Hello everyone, today I want to share my Jean Yun builds and teams with you in the short guide. As always, I start with the build, and then go over team compositions, and at the end, I show some of this gameplay. Make way for the the statue was seen. Remember, quiver, glory to the Shogun. Inazuma shines eternal. <laughs> This character's build looks almost identical to Shenhe, as in you just need as much attack as you can get and enough energy recharge to get her burst skill rolling. It's even more important on this character, I'd say, because without it, she's not gonna work at all. And unfortunately, she's also very energy hungry. I'd say around 180% is already the minimum you can get away with. And everything else, you don't really need anything. If you have some crit crit damage, it's a nice bonus, but like I said, not necessary. As for talents, ironically enough, you could just decide to not level them up at all, and it wouldn't really matter because almost all of her value comes from her passive skill. But in the long run, I still would recommend to level up the burst skill and the elemental skill for some extra healing and a little bit of extra damage. As for constellations, she definitely has some really good ones, namely constellation 2, which literally doubles the damage buff of her passive skill, and on top of that also grants a little bit of an attack buff, why not? It's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion, they definitely went overboard on this one. Then Constellation 1, it grants an additional charge to the elemental skill, which is really good for extra energy generation, but on the other hand it might also make rotations a little bit more awkward, so I'm a little bit torn about this one. As for Constellation 4, it's just a chance to trigger an extra heal here and there, it's nothing really of interest in my opinion. And then Constellation 6, this one is interesting because while your burst skill is active, your elemental skill has no cooldown, which means you can trigger it over and over again with extra crit damage also. So essentially she will turn into a main DPS, which might open up some extra new interesting team compositions. As for weapon options, I think there's one standout for star catalyst and it's the Oath One Eye, perfect stats for her, high base attack, attack percentage subset and a lot of extra energy recharge, exactly what we're looking for. Unfortunately, it's an event weapon that was released quite a while ago, so you might not have it, in which case I would recommend the Favonius Codex. Arguably the attack situation is way worse, but it gets all your energy needs met. So you don't have to grind out a whole lot of crazy nice artifacts because I, in my mind this is a character that shouldn't need a whole lot of investment. Better use your resources elsewhere. All she needs is good main stats. The gains from perfectly rolled substats on this one are very little in my experience. As for artifacts, we already covered subsets earlier is what I usually say at this point, but for a character like this, I'd like to take some time to highlight a small detail, which is this character, aside from energy recharge, only cares about attack. So for your feather and flower, it makes perfect sense to aim for high attack percentage, but for the remaining three slots, we already have attack percentage as main stat, which means we can't also roll it as a substat, which means aside from energy recharge, flat attack suddenly becomes somewhat desirable. So a piece like this that you would probably rightfully so, outright dismiss in any other circumstance, might be kind of desirable for Jean Yun. So you don't have to endlessly fish for crit crit damage for this character is what I'm getting at. And for sets, of course, if you can make use of the Viridescent set, it's a great pickup. Otherwise, double 18% attack is great with like the Gladiator 2-piece or Shimanawa 2-piece for example. As for team compositions, very straightforward, Jan Yoon buffs plunging attack damage, which means you want to build a team around a character that deals a lot of damage with plunging attacks. The first very obvious choice that comes to mind is Zhao, and a almost mandatory either, support huh? choice for him is, in my opinion, Feruzen. She's just that good for him. It's a lot of Anemo resistance shred and Anemo damage buffs, and if you have C6, it gets even crazier with crit damage buffs. And then next to him, uh, you can also pick a character like Zhongli for even more resistance shred, something like Bennett for an extra attack buff, or something like Farina. Hi, Obviously, hello, Zhao loses HP journey. continuously, which has synergy with Farina's extra damage buff from her burst skill. And then in the last slot, we obviously have Zhao. And the other kind of obvious choice will be dealing pyro plunging attacks with a character like Diluc, who has naturally very high plunging attack modifiers, or the new character Gaming, who is designed is around doing so. And then first? with them, you have the option to do vaporize or melt for extra damage. And I think the best option again is Forina, because I she will deal hydro damage unconditionally while off field, so you don't have to weave in normal attacks, especially with Diluc. With Gaming, it's not a big deal. He is forced to do normal attacks in between anyway, so. You 
you can even pick something like no Jing Shou. Otherwise, for Melt, you have something like Rosaria or even Layla, for example. And then in the last slot, I think one option that is really outstanding here is obviously is Bennett. Not only for the Noblesse set, but also for Pyro Resonance, which allows you, both of those allow you to double dip essentially, because you buff up Jean Yun, who then gets a more potent buff on Gumming, who in the first place already benefits from both of those attack buffs as well. Then, to my surprise, Zhang Yun's damage buff is actually very substantial, so you can come up with all kinds of niche teams, like, for example, an aggravate team with a character like a Raiden or Keqing as an Electro main DPS, and then you trigger aggravate with a character like Baiju or Nahida, and then C6 Sara will be really nice, otherwise Zhongli, Kazua, something like this can round it out perfectly fine. And now for the showcase, Zhang Yun is very easy to use. Her buffs last very long, so you can even use her to engage the enemy with her elemental skill, leap towards them, instantly press her burst skill, and then proceed with your regular rotation, for example, pressing Farina skills into Bennett, and then Diluc plunging attacks. So let's just do this here. Actually, I'm just gonna use Farina in the first because we have to wait for him to get up. No. Excavate both her buffs from the passive skills into the burst skill and then just plunging attacks. Okay, I tried to skip Bennett here to show off plunging attacks, but unfortunately it died too fast. But now you have the increased jump height and you can just spam them. And for now I'm just gonna leave you with some abyss gameplay and come back at the end. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful and gave you some inspiration for your own bits. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, have fun and bye bye.